Hi, my name is Paul Friedman, founder of the Marriage Foundation. How to make your wife want you more. This is a uh, big topic for a lot of men. They're lost. There's so much confusion in the world now about how to treat a woman. And it's, it's created tremendous confusion and, and men don't know what to do. They know what they want. And a lot of men are talking about sexually, but a lot of men are kind of past that. They just want to be recognized, appreciated. They want to know that their wife loves them. Look, it's very hard because you're not in a position to educate your wife and explain your needs to her. She won't listen anyway. In most cases, and we see it all the time because women are writing into us. In most cases, women would rather believe an article that they read somewhere. Society has gotten so crazy. So I'm going to try and help you sort of dislodge the log jam because that's what it is right now. There's so much confusion that the inconsistencies in behaviors between the two of you, because men are messed up too, equally. So the inconsistencies are, are building up like this backlog of feelings and emotions and stresses. And if just you as the man can get your act in line, it will really help your wife get hers in line. Because in line means truly showing you love and appreciation, having sex with you, but not for the sake of sex. And again, this is one of the problems. In our society, men have gotten confused and they're not recognizing that sex is a vehicle for intimacy. It is not intimacy. So, here's the thing. First thing you need to do is you need to understand that there's certain things that you should never do. The biggest thing you should never do is universal, and that is impose upon your wife's free will. That means not telling her what to do, not criticizing her, don't tell her when she's doing something wrong or how you would like her to do it. This idea of constructive criticism is insane. There's no such thing. Criticism is criticism. So all that stuff's got to go. All of it. You have to be proactive about containing your ideas of how she should be. You have to, and when you do that, it allows her to express herself. And when she does, you need to listen to her from the point of view of understanding not just what she's saying, but what she means and where she's coming from. Not to achieve a particular goal necessarily, but by doing that, you are letting her know she counts, she matters, she's real to you. And this will start opening her up. You see, right now she's probably viewing you as this wall. You don't let her in. You don't let her ideas in. You don't let her feelings in. It's probably how she sees you. And because of that, she can't connect to you as women connect. And therefore, she can't have that intimacy with you that you crave, that you need, that you should have. All right. So I've touched on so many topics. If you're really smart, you're going to get one of my books because I lay out the whole thing and I break it down in the genders. You get a real good explanation of what the heck is going on. It has saved many marriages. And maybe your marriage isn't on the verge, which I hope it's not. Because if if it is on the verge, then you should take the course for men. But otherwise, use one of my books, either Breaking the Cycle or Lessons for Happy Marriage, and understand your wife 
better. Understand yourself better. Understand the framework of marriage so that you can get the most out of it. Because look, you got married to be happy. You got married to be happy. And what happens for men is the default is, well, I'm not that happy, but at least I should be getting sex out of this deal. It's true. So you got to get back into that happiness in marriage is a natural outgrowth when you know what you're doing. It's just like anything else. Look, you get in your car, you start the engine, you have expectations because it's set up to perform in a certain way. Marriage is the same thing. If you put water in your gas tank, it ain't going to perform. It's the same thing. You got to know how to work your marriage. You got to understand it. So go ahead and get one of those books. I hope this has been helpful. I know it wasn't like a complete, oh, just do this and everything will be okay. But I'm not like one of those guys. I'm here to tell you the truth, be candid with you and show you that you're at the beginning of understanding that you don't have any idea of what's going on in your marriage. This is just one little manifestation, but it's really doable. And when you do it, it's going to make you super happy. Trust me on that. All right. <laughs> blessings to you. Blessings to your wife and blessings to your family. Hey, by the way, share this. Like it. You know, give me something back here. All right. Take care. God bless.